To start, go to the Manage tab and select the Macro Manager button. The macro can be created either in the project where the macro saved as part of the RVT file or it can be created as part of the application which would make it available to any Revit file used in this installation of Revit on this specific computer. In either case, we need to start by creating a module. A module is a named collection of macros. The language can be either C Sharp, VBNet, or new in 2014, Ruby or Python. Once the module has been created, click the Create Macro button to create the macro. Now, switching over to the Sharp Develop window, we can see the shell of the macro has been created for us by clicking that Create Macro button. The simplest macro we can create shows a small dialog box with some text that we will specify in the code. We can use the automatic suggestions given to us by the Sharp Develop tool, and a task dialog is the dialog box we will want to create. To show the task dialog, we specify task dialog dot show, and as the tooltip shows us, we first need to specify a string for the title, and by clicking the down arrow, we can find the simplest way to show a task dialog, where all that is needed is a string for the title, string meaning a piece of text, uh, one or more words, and another string for the uh, body of the dialog. The text, each piece of uh, text that makes up a string is put inside a set of double quotes. In C Sharp, we need to end every line with a semicolon. We then do the build solution command to compile the newly created macro. We see that the build has finished with zero errors. We can now return back to Revit, select the macro, click the run button, and the macro executes, showing us the task dialog that we wrote into the code. To learn more about the Revit API, visit www.boostyourbim.wordpress.com.